you're coming along, we'll get ready for an epic adventure. It's going to be a blast. Hold on. Here we go. Well, finally on the road. Been looking forward to this trip for over a year. On the way to Ponca, Arkansas. Going to meet up with Travis from Survive Without Channel and also Jonathan from the Bearded Burton and uh, then some guys that I haven't had the pleasure to meet yet. I think there's supposed to be six or seven of us. So, so it's going to be six days in our kayaks, 130 miles on the Buffalo River. Uh, been out on lakes quite a bit in my kayak, but this will be my first time on moving water and uh, especially six days straight packing for that uh, extended period of time is on a kayak is relatively new to me so uh, looking forward to it I'm sure I'll learn some things along the way on what I should have brought or what I can leave home next time but I think it's gonna be an awesome adventure and uh, glad you're coming along so stick around I'll check back with you from time to time and of course on any road trip you gotta have tunes how about my buddy Jonathan Burton Check it out. I'm starting to feel like my work don't mean a thing. Dig deep in my pocket to quarter to my name. I'm working. Working like a dog. But that don't mean a thing when all the shit is gone. Well, no other place like this place, so this must be the place. Well, it looks like this is where we'll be launching from tomorrow. This is at the Ponca putting in point. We'll be putting in sometime tomorrow morning.
So what do you think, Travis? This is where you make memories right here, man. <laughs> well, it's been one crazy day. We got here last night and uh, slept in our vehicles, or tried to sleep in our vehicles. Didn't get much sleep there. Uh, got up bright and early this morning and uh, got uh, got out here. It's been raining all day. Water's running fast. Some of the crazy rapids. And, and I think what I may have said before, this is my first time on moving water. And it's one crazy day. Uh, I dumped it a few times, uh, but with the help of some great guys that are with me, uh, was able to recover and get back out on the water and, and we pulled over for the day and uh, going to dry everything out and expecting another storm tonight. Uh, we'll see what that brings and uh, we'll go from there. All I know is I am extremely exhausted today. It's been a rough day. A lot of work, uh, a lot of effort and, and uh, fighting this water today. I didn't even get really get to enjoy the beautiful scenery out here as much as I would have liked. I wasn't able to sh shoot hardly any video. Um, just some snippets here and there. Uh, this river just required your total and constant focus all day long. Uh, but, it, but it's been fun. Uh, I can't say that it hadn't been fun, but uh, a little more challenging than I initially expected. So we'll see what tonight brings and uh, what tomorrow looks like. Up there. kind of a long night. The river came up quite a bit and pretty fast actually. And a couple guys had to move their tents. And then about 1.30 we all had to move. Um, it was coming up fast. Um, this spot right here, that's where my tent was. As you can see the water came right down this path. Luckily I got it moved before it got here. Jonathan was over here, and Brandon was here. Sometime during the night they had to move over up into here. And then we all moved, like I said, about 1.30. But the water was clear up into here. I'm down here right now where we had supper last night. And um, this picnic table right here the water was clear up above the benches so as you can see it's receded quite a bit yet this morning but it's still running awful fast our plan for the day is to stay here in camp and monitor the situation throughout the day and see if this water level drops and, and uh, slows enough to make it safe to continue on. Even though yesterday was a rough day, we hate to give up just yet. So, uh, this may be a once in a lifetime opportunity for me, I don't know, but uh, I don't want to give up on it just yet. So, uh, we'll see what happens. So, I'll check back with you after a while.
My biggest comfort zone came running free on the playground and my youth never knew he'd be gone. Ten years of missing you as one of well, I got out on day two, got some sunshine, water's much calmer. It's not near as rough as it was that first day. Looks like it's going to be an awesome day. Here we are, stopped for lunch. Day three of the trip, but day two on the water. The water is fabulous today. It's not near as rough on us as day one was. Having a great time. I was going to say, tell us about the leg out technique there. This, this is the recliner, <laughs> full on recliner. Is that an optional feature? If you want, you can double recline, <laughs> or you can do the, the cool climb. Ah. <laughs>
Well, I had a bit of disappointing news today. Um, had a great day on the water. Got a little over 30 miles knocked out and uh, pulled into Gilbert. And that's where we found out uh, that um, the White River down at the lower end is still in flood stage and that there's significant weather coming in Wednesday with up uh, to six inches of rain predicted. So we wouldn't be able to get out of here in time. <clears throat> so we're going to have to cut the trip short. Um, we're going to stay the night just outside of Gilbert and then we're going to knock off about 20 more miles um, in the morning and uh, then we'll be out of here. Um, kind of disappointing. We'll end uh, about 40 miles short of our goal but uh, has been a definitely an adventure. Uh, the river's thrown a lot at us. Um, it's been a good time with some great guys. Um, it was really awesome the way everybody helped each other out and uh, this being my first time on moving water and some of the difficulties that I encountered, um, the way some of the guys just uh, helped me out was uh, tremendous. Um, spoke highly of their character so uh, I couldn't have asked for a better group of guys to uh, go on this adventure with. Okay folks, this is the final day. Got about 18 miles left to go. Looks like a beautiful morning. About 10 to 10 in the morning. Beautiful. There's old Jonathan getting covered up. be our fifth day it's been crazy river's been mean and she's been nice you just never know what you're gonna get well, I hope you've enjoyed the video so far it hasn't been great quality I've had a lot of challenges along the way I haven't been able to get as much footage as I would have liked <coughs>
Good. Watch your mouth. <laughs> She'll give you two feet all at once. <laughs> Today with this river up as much as it is and being as wide as it is it just seems awful slow <laughs> not much fast water almost feels like paddling out on the lake so how do you feel about it being the last day a little sad to be honest with you, but <laughs> safety first yeah i kind of feel the same way part of me is a little sad part of me is kind of ready to get home and whatever Tony. So Jonathan, what are your thoughts on it being the last day? Bittersweet. Yeah. Knowing what's coming. <laughs> it's sweet because I don't want to go through that crap again. <laughs> but uh it sucks that I'm not gonna say that I get I got I did the whole thing. You know, Travis Major and Brandon are the only ones who've done the whole thing. <laughs>